Hello. Hi, I'm Christina and I'm from the USA. Hello, I'm Lauren and I'm from the UK. Hi, I'm Grace and I'm from Australia. I think, I think so. so. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. At least for Australia, we tend to really shorten our words. Mm. So, what mm. would be a regular word in perhaps British English or American English? Australians just cut half of it off. <laughs> That's quite <laughs> <true>. lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe some of ours might be similar mm -hmm. compared to American, but definitely like garbage and mm -hmm. rubbish is the immediate one that comes to my brain. Mm, definitely. I think the US will be a little bit different than you guys. Maybe you guys will have some other uh, similar vocabulary. But I've heard like it, Australian words, some are just like totally different, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've heard I mean... some Australian words, I'm like, I never heard that before. <laughs> but there's some words in the UK I've, I've heard before, but mm -hmm. I'm always learning new Australian words. So. But to be fair, we do take a lot of American words because we watch a lot of American TV mm -hmm. in Australia. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. maybe we'll be more similar than you think. Maybe, let's find out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Out again. Uh. <laughs> in the US, we would call that French fries. Um, in the UK, we say chips. In Australia, we also call them chips, but hot chips. Hot, hot chips. chips? Yeah, hot chips. <laughs> because we have chips and chips, you've got to be specific. Oh, okay. okay. What about like potato chips? Do you just call it chips? Chips. And then that's hot chips. chips? Or but chips? if you want to be specific, they're hot chips. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, but what if what if it's like in the fridge from like the night before and it's cold? Cold Maybe chips. Cold chips. <laughs> Chips that will soon be hot, like once more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got you. In the US, we call this cotton candy. Oh, sorry, my accent's coming out. Cotton, cotton, cotton candy. <laughs> yeah, uh, in the UK, we say candy floss. In Australia, we call this fairy floss. <gasps> so cute! So cute! It sounds so cute. Because it looks it's like hot. it's made by fairies. Yeah. That's so sweet. Actually, when I saw the picture, that was the first word that came into my brain was cotton candy. Cotton and then candy. I was like, wait, uh, really? what, what, what do we say? Yeah, yeah. Where am I from again? Where am I from? You, you hear cotton candy a lot. Yeah. yeah. No, we just use fairy floss. So That's so floss. cute. I've never heard that before, but I've heard of uh, candy floss, but fairy floss. Fairy floss is so cute. It's so sweet. <laughs> In the US, we would call that like flip flops, flippy floppies. No, not flippy, flippy floppies. Flippy floppies. <laughs> <laughs> it's like from that song, you know? I got my flippy floppies. Oh, no, I don't flip know. flops. <laughs> In the UK, we also say flip flops. In Australia, we call these thongs. Because you know, it's like the it. thong for your foot, thong for your butt. It's the same. But well, how would you like, oh, sorry, I gotta grab my thong really quick. Well, what I would think you plural. think? Would you think those oh, thongs well, or we, the other thongs? Well, we would say thongs is the plural is for your feet because you never wear more than one. Wait, what thong. if you were like on the beach and then you lost one? And you're like, we lost my thong. thong. <laughs> I mean, we like to live life on the edge okay. in Australia. Yeah. So, in our country, the thong is a type of underwear the same shape as the flip-flop string, so yeah, yeah. it makes sense. It but does. It it's... could be confusing if we came to yeah. Australia. <laughs> I'm just gonna go buy some thongs, like, oh, I'll just put my thongs on. Yeah, yeah. Beach. If you said that in, in the US, that be it would definitely mean like the underwear. Yeah. yeah. Thongs. Maybe it means both. You never know. <laughs> In the US, we would call it sneakers. Um, in the UK, we would say trainers, or we have like a million words for it, but trainers, I would say. If they're more like a branded, like a fancy pair, we would say sneakers, but for general running shoes, we just call them joggers. Ah, mm. Because you train in them and you jog, jog in them. them. Yeah. Exactly. What yeah. about, or you sneak in them? <laughs> <laughs> what about these though? Like, not Who these, we call but sneakers? joggers. Jogging bottoms. Oh, you guys call... We call them joggers. Everything's pants. Ah, okay. Pants. Ah, uh, same, yeah. Mm. In the US, gas station. Um, in the UK, petrol station. In Australia, we call this a servo. Oh, sir. 
<laughs> it's like a service, service station. Service station. Okay. But nobody has time to say service, service station, so we just call it a servo. You like to keep things short. Yeah. Huh? I knew she was gonna say something like <laughs> weird. It's cool. I, I like, like it. it. I yeah. like it. I love us. I love Australian words. They're yeah. pretty cool. You know, make it short. <laughs> Gas station is such a mouthful, right? Mm. Okay. In the U.S., we would call it a movie theater. Mm -hmm. um, in the U.K., we would call it cinema. In Australia, we call it movies. Sometimes, sometimes in the U.S., I would also say, "Oh, me and my friends are going to the movies." Yeah. But usually, we would say like, "Yeah, the movie theater." Mm -hmm. We would Sounds say really like fancy. Going to watch a film. Oh, I yeah. watch a film, mm -hmm. but like that could be like on your computer or whatever. When I think of film, I think. Like black and white film. Me too. It sounds like cool. yeah. No, we, I, we never call it film. We just say movies. We say movies, mm. not film. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's film. Sounds like proper English. Exactly. That's the thing. It like really fancy. it's because we do our own thing. Like we know that you guys, <laughs> you guys say the proper words for things. We are just like rebels, you know. Yeah. <laughs> In the US, we would call this. Cell phone. Um, in the UK, we would call it mobile or mobile phone. In Australia, we just call it a phone. Just a phone. Yeah. <laughs> Very Everything is phone. short, like I said. But what about like your home phone? Phone. Phone? How, how do you tell the, tell the difference? I suppose if you wanted to be specific, you have your phone and then your mobile phone. In recent times, people only really use a mobile yeah. phone. They don't really use a landline. Mm. That's, that's what we call it too, a landline. landline. A landline, which is the phone that's in your house. Oh, right. So, I mean, my house back in Australia, we don't have a landline, so everyone just has their phone, which would be their mobile phone. Uh-huh. In the US, we would call this like shopping cart or just cart. In the UK, we would call it trolley. In Australia, we also call it a trolley. Trolley. Trolley like reminds me of like those above ground trains. Like in the US, if we, we, we hear trolley, oh. like it would be like the, you know, those trains. An overground? Above... <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah, like trolley. Yeah, yeah, like those, those two. Yeah. We wouldn't think of, of a cart oh. or trolley. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> In the US, we would call it a sandwich. In the UK, we would say sandwich or sani. In Australia, we would say sandwich or to shorten it, a sanger. 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 Go to the store and buy a sanger. Sanger. <laughs> if it's toasted, it's a toasty or a toasted toasty. sanger. I don't know. We have so many words mm. for sandwich. Like we have sani, we have bap, we have bread roll, we have. What was the second one? Bap. Bap? Yeah, or butty. I would say butty. Butty. B U T T Y. <laughs> Girl. We actually would say more than Sani now. Ham and cheese butty or like an egg butty. Like but it, it depends on each region in the UK has their own like word that they use. Of course. That's cool. Oh man, that picture, girl. That was a bad mistake. In the US, we would call that bang. Um, in the UK, we would call that fringe. In Australia, we call it a fringe. I've heard fringe too, but we would usually just call it bang. Bang. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My German friend calls it a pony. A pony? A pony. pony. I think then that's what's this cute. one? Pony tail? Tail? Okay. I wonder where bangs <clears throat> came from though. Bangs? I don't know. I can't, I, I, I can't really. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say. Could you look banging? Bang. Well, not oh. in that case. <laughs> not. <laughs> In the US, we would call it a drugstore. In the UK, we would call it a chemist. In Australia, we call this a pharmacy. It's just me, but when I think of drugstore, because in Australia, drugs equals like drugs. <laughs> so I'm thinking of like, you know, methamphetamine, <laughs> marijuana <laughs> being sold in a store. <laughs> Gotta edit that out. <laughs> you can just beep, 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 beep. beep. <laughs> When yeah, I hear, that's what I think of drugstore yeah. because for us we call it medicine. Drugs is like drugs. Yeah, I think we, we in the US we call it medicine or, or drugs. Not the drugs. Yeah, but when I hear chemist, I think of like a scientist in the lab, yeah. like making some, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I think of mm. with chemist. This actually, it, it depends on where in the US because there are also slang for this, but we would call it McDonald's in the US. 
Or my, my parents and my friends, we would call it like Mickey D's. Mickey D's. Mickey D's. Mickey D's. Mickey D's. I don't know if that's like an East Coast thing, but yeah, mm. Mickey D's. Um, in the UK, we would say McDonald's or McDonald's, but also like America, we have different slangs. Like I personally would say Mackey's because I come from the north of England, but I guess some other people call it like, I don't know, I forgot the words. <laughs> in Australia, we call this Mackey's. Go for a Mackey's run. Oh. I Do you like not it. say McDicks or have I imagined what? that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that not a thing? Um, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think I think yes, but I think it's like kind of like trolling a little, you know, McDicks. like ah, like ah. people know what they're doing. It's Let's like ironic. Like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> but like. yeah, like I know, like in the East Coast. Mm. I remember my parents, we would say Mickey D's. Oh, we would also say Mackey D's. That was the Mackey other D's, word that I was thinking Mickey of, D's. Mackey D's. In the US, we would call this candy. Um, in the UK, we would call these sweets. In Australia, we call these lollies. Lollies? All Lolly? Of them? Well, lollies for me is more like the jelly type. And then if it's like a hard candy, we would call it candy, but just in general, they're all lollies. So the chewy ones are the lollies. Chewy, lollies, I mean, I call everything lollies. Lolly, if I hear lolly, I just think of yeah. like the lollipop. lollipop. Yeah. Maybe that's all we had. <laughs> that would confuse me if I went to if I went to Australia. They give you like a jelly snake. It's like have a lolly. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my lollipop? Mm. I learned some new words today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like I learned some new words. Yeah, mm. for sandwich and yeah, some some different McDonald's. Mm -hmm. McDonald's words for McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah, it was really fun. Good. I always I always like hearing new words. I'm especially learning new words for Australia. Definitely. Yeah, of course. I was actually surprised how almost in between there were some yeah. similarities with the UK, some similarities with the US, and then mm -hmm. some things we've just obviously some crossovers completely and... made up. So <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we're just making our own rules. Yeah, I was surprised how little UK vocabulary I knew. Like there were things you were pulling out of it. Really? I've never heard of it before. <laughs> I thought I would be more similar with the UK, yeah. but I'm more familiar with US mm -hmm. English. Well, we all know like American words for everything mm. from TV and like yeah. moving here, I always use American English mm. or vocabulary. Um, but it was interesting. That's the Australian, true. the flip flops have still got me, the thongs. <laughs> thongs. Thongs. <laughs> Whip it out sometime. Maybe it'll be yeah. without your thongs. Yeah, it'll yeah. Be, you can sort of surprise some people. <laughs> So today we compared some vocabulary from the US, the UK, and Australia. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Bye! Bye. Bye.